Nicole Solas is the mother of a kindergartner enrolled in school in South Kingston, Rhode Island. This summer, she filed several public record requests to learn about the indoctrination that the school was forcing on kindergartners. Nicole Solis then wrote a post on the blog Legal Insurrection that the South Kingston School Committee threatened to sue her for doing this. She wanted to know what her child was being taught. And then, of course, predictably, you could have guessed this, a member of the school district at a hearing accused her of being, you know, that thing. This issue is one that involves a disturbing attempt by a national organized racist group to create chaos and intimidate our district. As we discuss bringing equity and anti-racism curriculum to our schools. So have you found out what they're gonna be forcing on your daughter? Well, I know that in kindergarten, they don't call the kids boys and girls. They also don't use gender terminology in the classroom. I know that when they teach the children about Thanksgiving, they ask them what could have been done differently on Thanksgiving, which strikes me as a way to shame children for their American heritage. Of, of course it is. It's a way to make them hate the country. So you, you asked about this and then they called you a bigot for for trying to find out what they were telling your child. But you know, this is what they do. They smear people who ask them questions, who disagree with them, and it's just a false accusation of racism that they use to bully you into silence. They reduce everyone down to the color of their skin, and right. a human being's worth is more than that. Well, this is exactly why I was submitting my public records request to get information about how exactly this is being taught in our schools. And then they turn around and have a public meeting to discuss suing me for submitting the public record request, which they told me to do. That's right. Well, their hysteria tells you everything. A hurt dog barks. They can't defend their racist lunacy in the light of day. And so they attack you. You know, other parents, they want transparency. I got great community support that came in person to the meeting. I had people coming from other towns. I had people from other states finding me on Facebook and messaging me and telling me that they were going to watch the school committee meeting from another state. I want parents to know that if they are gonna get answers from their school district, they need to submit public records request. It's called an APRA. It stands for the Access to Public Records Act. This is a way that you can legally compel your school to answer your questions so you can know what is being taught in your classrooms. Parents across the country have to start holding their school officials accountable. They are our civil servants. They work for us. They are not supposed to be these tyrants in the classroom. We need to stop exactly. being afraid of retaliation. It, the risk of retaliation is there. Uh, it happened to me, but our children are worth the risk of that retaliation because we're the only ones that are gonna be asking these questions. So parents, please start submitting your public records request and ask what's going on in the classroom.